What's up everyone? Back at it again with another vlog. <laughs> Do you guys recognize who that's from? If you do, comment down below. Oh my gosh, my self tan is so bad, I'm so sorry. But you guys really seem to like this vlog style video thing and I think it's really fun. It's a lot more personable. Personable? Personal? What's the word? Anyways, it's currently a crazy snowstorm outside and I picked today of all days to film this type of video, but whatever, I shoot in all types of weather so it doesn't really make a difference for me. As you can tell from the title, this is all about how I take my Instagram pictures. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should because self promo, why not? I figured I would do this video a little bit different because for one, we might not actually be able to shoot today because of like how crazy the snowstorm is, but I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram and I'm gonna answer them with Mel. If you guys don't know who Mel is, she's one of my good friends. She also does Instagram as like her job, but her Instagram is more like photography Instagram. Like it's like goals, her pictures, her editing is just like on a whole nother level. So I thought it'd be really cool to compare mine versus her and see like the differences pros and cons and just kind of talk about Instagram and just say how like everything you see online is most of the time not 100% real and we'll get into that later but if you guys are new to my channel make sure to subscribe down below and click that notification button so that you never miss a video and also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a, how I edit my Instagram pictures so without further ado let's go get Mel <gasps> choose my favorite synchro coach ever guys I don't know a thing about synchro yes you I do just, I just winged it no, she taught me how to do a flip when I forgot how to do my double. Oh, that I'll take credit for. Mel and I are here today because I had this idea. Well, I get questions a lot about Insta about Instagram, on Instagram, about Instagram, how I take my pictures, how I edit them. I've done a few videos in the past of how I edit pictures. Obviously things change all the time depending on the, the seasons. Yeah. But I thought it was really good to have Mel here because we have a very different vibe on Instagram. Like our feeds are completely different. Definitely, I mean, I was saying earlier for them to go like look you up because I was like, your feed is goals. Like your life is just goals. But I thought it would be really cool to kind of just talk about the differences in both of our passions when it comes to Instagram. Um, Instagram in a whole, what you think about it. And also photography, if you guys are actually interested in that. Because that, I mean, it's a whole different story. That Photography yeah. yourself is a thing, you know? It's not all for show on Instagram. I guess we could start off by saying what we use to take our pictures. Yes, let's do it. We're about to get real real with you guys. Okay, so. I'll go first. Yes. So, um, so when I originally started on Instagram, I was shooting everything with my phone and I was editing in Visco, which I guess we can like talk about later. Yeah. But now I actually then I upgraded to a camera which at the time was a Nikon D3100, I think. That was taking like decent pictures and then I upgraded to the mother load. She has yeah. a case on it right so, now. So yeah, I have a weatherproof case on it right now, but this is the Nikon D750 and it's a full frame camera. Um, so it's definitely a lot heavier than a phone. Oh my God, you travel <laughs> with this? Yeah. Girl. I know, it's a backache. But it does deliver all of my beautiful travel photos. Um, and the reason why I love using this is because if I ever want to blow up any of my pictures, like put them on the wall of my future home, Oh my god. Then I definitely wanted one of these babies. So the lens is a 24-120, so it does zoom in quite a bit, which is great. See all the pores. Oh. <laughs> and it does have an f-stop of four. For someone that's starting off with photography, if they want to purchase a DSLR, yeah. I feel like you need to kind of practice before you upgrade and upgrade because I feel like for someone's first DSLR, I don't know if that's the best option. No. So but... I'll be honest, this camera is I think about $3,000 Canadian. So that's like a pretty good investment mm -hmm. into photography. So you want to make sure that that's like something you want to pursue and get to like understand settings and understand like how you shoot manual. I definitely suggest learning how to shoot in manual. Don't just shoot in auto, especially if like photography is something you want to get into. And then my camera. <laughs> It's really hard to use. You really need to be pro photographer to be able to use this type of camera because there's a lot when it comes to like, you know, the iOS. Oh, the iOS. I thought you meant ISO when I started laughing. No. Oh yeah, that. Honestly, no, I just use my phone. And a lot of people ask me what camera I use and every time I say my iPhone, they're like, what? To be honest, the cameras and the iPhones have gotten so good that yeah. you wouldn't even tell the difference. Especially I mean, on Instagram. like a photographer can tell the difference. Like I could tell the difference between your pictures and my pictures. Okay, this is why I want to talk about this too because like what you want to do on Instagram and this might 
might not just be for Instagram in general. Yeah. Just for fun. But like, it depends what you're like interested in doing. So if you want to do Instagram as a career, let's say, and you want to do more of like the travel lifestyle thing, investing in a D DSLR is important because I mean, you're kind of up against the best of the best when it comes to that. I mean, not just that, you want to make sure that like, if this is something that you want to do, like one of my concerns was, well, what if I want to have like, what if I want to blow up these pictures? Yeah. Like, you know, I, I've tried like blowing up pictures like from my camera and like they just get really grainy and and it's fine like I can I can put them on like little Polaroids but yeah like in terms of like larger photography like I eventually want to go to Iceland and like I would love to take these like beautiful landscape shot landscape shots in Iceland that was kind of like where my head was at so it's not just what I'm doing on Instagram like that's all great in terms of like my future and like the types of cameras I want to be using like this was where my head was at for me, it's all about the editing because just taking an iPhone picture and then comparing it to how I edit is like a whole different ball game. And we can do a whole different video about editing because <laughs> I mean, I, I use Lightroom for editing. I know you use Lightroom. Yeah. Do you use Photoshop too sometimes? No, I don't really know how to use Photoshop. Okay, I used Photoshop once. It took me nine hours to be able to put stars in the sky and it looked really stupid, and but I posted it anyways. It didn't look stupid. You actually did a great job. Literally, I did it and I forget who it was. I think maybe Kyla, she's like, why would there be st stars during a sunset in like the pink sky? I'm like, you know what? Leave it to Kyla. Yeah, I was like, Kyla. what? <sighs> Whatever. Honestly, it's fine. The iPhone is a great place to start. Yeah. I am hands down like a lover of the iPhone photography and it's so easy and I sometimes wish like for Instagram photos I could go back to iPhone photos. Do you find it hard to travel with that? Having to like <laughs> upload and stuff and like have to bring your computer? Because sometimes I don't travel with my computer. Pictures are taken on this camera. The SD card goes into the laptop and then the hard drive goes into the laptop and then everything from the SD card goes onto the hard drive and then everything from the hard drive I can then put into Lightroom and edit. That's the process. So I need the camera, the laptop, the hard drive. Every time you travel? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's doable for sure. It's just more of like... In, it's more. It's yeah. like just like more equipment, more like bulkiness when you travel and like it's fine like you have to kind of like take the good with the bad and it's not really bad to be honest like I bring way too many clothes when I travel I'm like <laughs> I don't need to bring five pairs of shoes for three days you know it's like it's not I think there's gonna be pros and cons to everything yeah. it's just like the con is just like the heaviness of all the equipment for me the con would be the heaviness of that camera oh my god it's it's like such a baby, like I love it, but then it's just like, it's a heavy like, baby. Like holding that, especially if you're gonna like go on a hike or something and wanna take pictures of a oh, waterfall. I, I've actually done it Bruh. in Costa Rica. Delaney Joan? Yeah. What do you mainly focus on when you are taking your Instagram picture? Okay, so I feel like this is a kind of good introduction to what I wanna talk about. So because we shoot completely different, I think yes. it would be interesting to talk about, let's say if we are gonna shoot, how do we get inspired for pictures? What do we focus on when we take pictures? Like what is like our, you know, vision and kind of how we get our ideas, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know about like what you do, but my, one of my favorite things is if I see a photo that I really like online, whether it be Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram, I'll save it and I'll Same. kind of recreate it in my own type of way. Sometimes I'll just be doing something and I'm like, oh, I want a picture with this background. I really yeah. like it. I'm on Instagram a whole lot and I'll just like scroll and save certain pictures. Mm -hmm. I love that function. Oh my now. God, me too. I don't know, when we go out to shoot, it's like for me, so stupid because it's like literally Daniel like this. <laughs> and I look at it and I'm like, okay, do a different angle. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I just don't like it. So, okay, so what do you like? I don't know. Just change it. <laughs> okay, we just had to, had, we had to restart the camera. Yeah. I don't remember what I was saying. Angles are important. Um, angles, oh, that's great memory. Angles are super important, especially when you're starting out and there are definitely gonna be angles that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Whoever is taking your pictures, just have them like do a couple of like different angles, whether it's like, closer to the ground, more to like where your heart is mm -hmm. or like above. So just like moving it around like side to side, um, figuring out what you like. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had a song stuck in my head. But also, it's not all about the way you look. True. Right. My favorite shots are candid shots. Yes. People want to connect with you. And the best way to do that is just to show what you are in real life. And we both just like love like candid shots and like la like legit laughing mm -hmm. and capturing that on, on camera is like is the best and those are the pictures you go back on and you like remember like that exact memory and exactly what you were saying at that moment yeah I much prefer those photos over any other photos same bro you can tell when someone's not being themselves online like it's pretty obvious and I just find like Mel you're like the sweetest person ever out of anyone I know 
no but honestly she just has the biggest heart and it really comes across especially on your stories i find like you're blush. very <laughs> sweet you're, like opening your packages with your mom <laughs> by the way her mom's name is storm like how <laughs> sick is that storm like she lucked out in the name department. That's sick. I think for me, I'm I'm very like hyper and like spastic and loud and but you're obnoxious. Also very real. Like I don't stand for people's bullshit or anything, and I just kind of like I I am who I am, and if you don't like me, then like I don't care, and that's fine. You know, I just kind of do what I. Yeah, not I everyone's am. gonna be your cup of tea. Yeah, that's exactly. Fine. And it's not my mission to make people like me. If people like me, that's fine. And if they don't. And that's fine too like everyone's allowed to have their own opinion and i don't know is there anything else we should like talk about i feel like people had so many questions maybe we I should know. come back to the questions do you plan out every one of your pictures that's the first question okay um no no not every single one of my pictures sometimes it's very like on the fly like you'll go to a location and be like love this love this let's do that or sometimes you just are like chilling with friends and you're like oh my god i really like where we are can i grab a pic and you're also like very much like lifestyle photography so you can yeah. for sure do that for me like i have to oh you have there. to oh that was another question actually like do you plan your shoot days or do you just kind of spur of the moment if it's like snowing and I want like a beautiful like snowy situation, then it's like, all right, pack up the camera, let's go. Mm -hmm. um, but other times it's more like, hey, do you guys have stuff to shoot today? Why don't we do it on Friday when it all works for everybody? And then we can just kind of go out to a location and shoot. Um, how often do you shoot? I guess it depends. Like when I'm traveling, I take a lot of pictures just because I'm tra you're traveling. You got to take advantage. Yeah. When I'm at home, I feel like I plan a shoot day and I just kind of pictures on that day unless I'm like out at lunch yeah. with a friend and I'm like oh let's just take a picture or something you know okay do you plan out your feed in advance yeah so I use unum is that you say it? unum 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 I say unum I, I, don't I know. say unum because that's Tess showed me the app and she says unum but like she's from the midwest so I don't know if it's just like unum a thing. Tess I think we're gonna take it from you unum I like the way it sounds better yeah I plan it out if I have like a white picture and then a dark picture I don't want to have another dark picture I want it to be like white dark yeah. white you know like something like that flows nice. I think that's important. I like things spread out evenly. Um, if I'm gonna change my feed, I want to make sure that I have like a few pictures lined up that are gonna like go with that picture. Just yeah. Because it like looks pretty. If you're just doing Instagram for fun, there's like no need to worry about that stuff. But in terms of like aesthetically pleasing, unum, unum, unum. is definitely a good app to use. Okay, scroll and pick. Oh my god. Close your eyes. Stop. <laughs> no, I, I did left. not stop on that. What? Kyla, we stopped on your ooh comment <gasps> and we don't appreciate. So this one, who takes your pictures usually? Daniel. Either Lisa or Ver or Jess or whoever I'm traveling with Her is friends. usually who takes my pics. Or your boyfriend now? Or my boyfriend. <laughs> I like. <laughs> Maybe Mel can film like as if she was gonna take a picture of me, but just film it and I can like pose. Yeah, we can do that. That is so embarrassing in my Okay, the honest truth about this is that it is going to be a pose because you're you can't be moving while you're taking a picture. Yeah. Um so that part of it is not it doesn't feel supernatural at first, but it does mimic the way that you look in real life, right? Right. But wait, okay, because maybe that's a DSLR thing because I always move when I'm posing. Yeah. And the iPhone, it picks it up. Yeah. I mean, I shoot like in bursts sometimes. So if I'm doing like oh, right. some like some movement, then I can do it. But for the most part, I'm like doing something and stopping and then doing something and stopping. I got my earmuffs. Woo! And we're going out to shoot now. Guys, don't judge me the way I pose. Got to do it for the gram. So we found a cool path. And Mel sometimes says that she likes to line up with her iPhone like, to see. Yeah, I like to try out a shot with an iPhone to see like what it would look like instead of taking out my camera right away. That is cool. Okay, so this is how Mel poses. <laughs> Wait, bring out this screen. Okay, so I like to keep it natural and just do like a regular walk. So I'll put my hands in my pockets and I'll look to the side. Maybe even hold on to my hood. That's cute. Or I can twirl around. But yeah, mostly just walking. Just natural natural way. Guys, we just got some sick pics of Mel. I was hyping her up. Abominable snow, abominable snowman. How do you oh, say perfect. it? Abominable snowman. Abominable, abominable. Abominable. Abo abominable. Now you're questioning, <laughs> now I'm questioning me. <laughs> the abominable snowman. These Ooh. are my fave. The laughing candid shot right here. Cute. And now you can see before she edits and then you'll see after she edits. All okay, right, so let's go I was through, shooting. Let's go through Alex's poses. I never really do a full body like I usually do from like here up especially if it's like this I'm not gonna take off my jacket cuz like F that usually I like go like this I smile I like put my tongue out or sometimes I'll like hold the snow and like 
smile. I'll just pose. <laughs> this is so awkward. Like, I actually hate myself. This is like, I want to freaking crawl into a floor and die. And then as for hair pictures, like, I can't. It's going to be hard right now. But like... I'll like stand with my hair back and I'll just like swig my head. Like I'm just like, I'll go like this, like, or like hand holding ones. I'll like hold the hand and like, I'll walk, I'll like actually walk. <laughs> oh my God, I love you so much, Mel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in any way. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Mel and I will go through them and answer them just like by typing and stuff. I feel like we've covered everything, but I'm not sure. If you guys do want to see a video of how we edit, maybe we could do something like that together. We yeah. Can, like, you could show your that. presets. She does have presets and she actually does sell them if you guys want to try out a package for yourselves because I think that would be kind of a cool start. Yeah. To they're see they're they... fun to use. A lot of people have been telling me that they've actually learned through presets like how to use Lightroom. Yeah. So that's interesting. And I mean, I use Lightroom on my phone. It's completely different. So, I mean, I use it sometimes on my computer, but yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow Mel on Instagram and let her know that I sent you and comment down below pineapple if you're reading this. <laughs> or if you're, if you're reading this. I don't know what I'm saying. It's all good. I love you guys. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. It's getting hot in here. I am getting so hot. <laughs> In this abandoned amusement park We come to life when it turns dark We're just carnival hearts, you and me